Okay, so considering circumstances and the fact that I'm probably not going to get these people afterwards. And also because of the fact that I am pretty sure I have never actually showcased a trust run before. I'm going to take the, the risk that I'm not going to be particularly entertaining and I will take my two best friends and what is apparently my mentor into this dungeon. But I will also record like other dungeons because listening to Sheena cry over Tank Busters is kind of hilarious. Yeah, that looks good to me! In uncertain times, naught but the simplest words of wisdom will suffice. That which lives is destined to die. Love leads to loss. Every beginning has an end. Treasure every moment, every step of your descent. Also, I also leveled another class because Mama didn't raise no one who wasted stuff. Oh, this is the place. Here I thought this was going to be in Labyrinthos. And already I feel like this is probably the prettiest dungeon that we've had so far. <laughs> he's a dark knight. <laughs> of course he's an edgelord. Yes. Turn back. Also, I might be forced. forced to what? <laughs> about and find out. All right, so we have two fire lions and that thing again. <laughs> Save me, friend! I have also determined that Samurai has honestly not really changed all that much. <laughs> much like Monk, only even more so. The fact, the only difference is that the cheese suite is actually a really good move now. <laughs> oh my god, we have stone skin? <laughs> Damn, we really are living in the past. All oh, right. The whole thing with Samurai is that now all of them are circles. Also, I apologize to Samurai mains in advance because um, definitely not my forte. I think that's like the new super hair. Oh, what is that though? Like, <laughs> I thought Dancer was going to be the first range class I was going to level. Mm, be considering. <laughs> Oh. Oh god. <laughs> King Igloo's up! <laughs> Alright, hello, Lissa. You're no lease. Oh god! Oh wow, okay, just go! I'm <laughs> oh. <laughs> the other two just teleport. <laughs> They're just like, wow, casual. Says Flash. Alright, oh, went too late. <laughs> I probably shouldn't be taking it, uh, trying to see if it's Splash. Because the thing about trusts, if any of them die, it doesn't matter. If you die, it, it, we're playing with Persona rules, is what I'm trying to say. You die, everyone just loses the will to live, and they just explode. Uh -oh. Like I said, everyone explodes. Okay, we're good. <laughs> okay. <laughs> uh, he thinks that's not going to stay closed. <laughs> oh no, I was betrayed. Uh, ooh, that's an upgrade. Uh, okay. And it's actually BMing me. I can't put on things when I'm in combat. The dick. I see you. According to Mistress Lysa. Wait a minute. <laughs> Her creation is based on the concept for a bipedal wolf. Hey, we just killed one of those. I'm kind of surprised we have yet to get a water spell. Like an actual a offensive water spell, not fluid aura. Where's some. Actually, rest in hell, you piece of shit. <laughs> oh no, it has three heads. Whatever would I do? Okay, I remain unimpressed. Oh. 
I see you. Okay. <laughs> I find offense to this. Yes, I could have followed the boss, but where's the fun in that? Listen, in my defense, how the hell was I supposed to know that it was going to hit behind him all the way? Intimidation. Oh no, it's a Pokemon. Ow. It died. All right, good talk. <laughs> yeah, it's kind of annoying that they still have, uh... I think I go 10. Do it now, go on. <laughs> Do it now, go 10. Go 10. Go 10. Go 10. Right. <laughs> Listen, guys, I studied French, okay? I didn't study Japanese. I didn't study Russian. Oh. 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 Oh? How bloody high does this go? <laughs> this would be a bit excessive. I don't know, that last test of medium was expensive. Expensive? I was just gonna- This is why I don't go alone! I say dumb things. <laughs> this is also why I'm the DPS man, let's be honest. I see you opening it. Time to go to space? Or close to it. I kicked her ass in the trial already. I can do it again. I see you. Your power. Oh, lovely. I'm back in the <laughs> eleven. Oh no, he he learned how to multiply. Oh, double tank buster? Oh, no, it just puts an alien underneath. That's disappointing. <laughs> Is he really gonna stay there? Okay. <laughs> I was gonna kinda get upset. Oh, wait, I can do this. I'm, I'm gonna be honest, I'm too used to Elize just pressing it on cooldown. <laughs> now, I have come for the baby. Ooh, it's a song! <laughs> oh, I can actually go to her too. Hello. Good job. <laughs> it's over, Hermes. In the name of the convocation. I hereby take Meteon into custody. And setting aside the matter of your nomination, you will come with us too. We require your knowledge to assess and resolve the situation. <sighs> Meteon. I am so sorry. With that, I could have listened to your report in full. Reflected upon its meaning and conveyed it to others. That they might reconsider their chosen course. But I have failed. And that wish will never be realized. However, ere our fates become the province of others, I bid you tell me just one thing. Was there happiness in those distant stars? Was there a reason for living? We conducted our search as per your instructions. We scoured historical records, communed with the spirits of the deceased, heard the final testaments of the dying, welcomed their shadowed hearts into our own. One race had striven to create a world bereft of animosity. Uh -oh. 
They renounced relationships to avoid interpersonal strife and in so doing brought about societal collapse. One race had renounced war and devoted itself to the enrichment of its people. They were conquered. Though they destroyed the enemy in reprisal, they could not regain their former glory. Elegant. One race had concluded that finite time was the root of all woes. Aspiring to shatter its shackles, they went in search of infinity. They discovered nothing is infinite, and that neither time or death can be cheated. Disillusioned, they gave up on the future, and themselves. One race had discarded all things that gave rise to sorrow, hoping to have only joy. They found joy lost its savor in the absence of sorrow, and lost their will to live. The worlds apart, these peoples shared a belief. The belief that they had tried their best. That they had tried to fulfill their potential with every step and success. In the course of which, they learned the truth. That they would never be free of fear and sorrow, anger and despair, of loneliness, so long as they yet lived. Even now, their souls cry out for oblivion. And to this song of anguish, I lend my voice. We lend our voice. Oh, beloved mankind, shimmering jewels of beautiful Atheris, rejoice, for we will free you from the cruel yoke of existence. There is no need to struggle in vain, for in nihility awaits salvation. You will know peace and serenity, and it will be beautiful. Can I cut her down? We will make our nest at the edge of the universe, and there in the dark of dead worlds, hold sorrow and suffering. There we will sing, our chorus ever louder and ever clearer, that our song may reach even this ether-shrouded star. Such is the answer we have found in the stars. Such is the gift we now offer to a fairies. lost your mind? You heard what she said. She means to destroy us all, yet you'd still take her side? In the name of the star, we have discarded those creations that we deemed flawed. If we ourselves are flawed, it does not stand to reason. That we too should be discarded. That is sophistry, and you know it. Perhaps it is. Perhaps I am wrong. Who is to say that you are right? Let us settle this with a determination. 
In my authority, as Chief Overseer of Elpis, I will make a judgment on man's fitness to exist. If he can learn to value all life and retain his will to live, even should his end be justified, he will surely find a way to avert his demise. If not, he will perish from the star. As with all determinations, provisions must be made to ensure fairness. Kairos! Awaken! Memory reconfiguration system Kairos activated. Awaiting instruction. Oh. Command. Universal memory alteration. Target area. Catesis Hyperborea. Starting point. Arrival of Emmett Selk of the Convocation at Propylion. End point. The present. Raise the memories of all events. And replace with a vague recollection of the fall. I was here. Preparing to demonstrate the functionality of Kairos. To Emmett Selk. And hit the days. Meteon's shared consciousness became unstable. She and her sisters could not sustain their existence. And all dissipated the burst. The resultant shockwave accidentally triggered Kairos, which erased several days of memories from all present. Execute. Command acknowledged. Initializing. Three processes remaining to execution. Bravo. I dare say one would be hard pressed to make it fairer. Of course, the Everything wise player that you told us always Everything cheats. That has happened. The fact we've even met. It will all be gone. Go, Meteor, to the edge of the universe, where none can reach you. Hermes, won't you come with me? If you were to shed your flesh, I should be able to carry you. <laughs> I will remain. As a man, I will oppose the oblivion you bring. Silly fool. Had you said yes, I would have granted you the gentlest end. Oh, then I... <laughs> right the bullshit, go! complete. Two remaining to execution of memory reconfiguration. As if we needed more pressure. No matter what, you cannot forget what happened today. For it is the key to saving your future. Your world. Time to go then. This fight is our fight. What comes after, our problem to contend with. Not yours. No. Your own struggle awaits. And no one else can take your place. You must leave this place with your memories. And I will see that you do. Now then, where is it? 
There you are, my little confluence. God, I love fail saves. <laughs> Meteon's gotten away. Second process complete. One remaining to execution. No. No time for brooding. It's time for leaving. Listen well. Beyond lies a spatial confluence that connects the interior sections of this building. I will destroy the confluence and force open a way outside. When I do, you must jump through. Goodbye, old new friend. I cannot tell you how sorry I am. But neither can I let you escape. Too brave by half. Oh? Exemplary work, as always, M itself. What? But how? I thought the confluence was over. Over there? Yes. We were rather hoping you would. It was never anywhere but where it is now. The instant those two began making their way towards nothing, it was clear the plan was a diversion. I'm quite incapable of destroying a confluence, I must confess. <laughs> a gambit brazen beyond words. Though we've grown accustomed to reckless improvision due to the antics of an incorrigible associate, <laughs> I no, wish. In the case of certain present company, incorrigible is an understatement. I wish I could meet me. Honestly, I'm beginning to suspect it's a requirement for every as <laughs> Yeah, Togo! <laughs> Even now, I do not believe your tale. I would not suffer us to walk such a wretched path. Still, if it must be said... Good luck, hero. Do not squander it. Damn it. <laughs> the legacy I leave you. Oh, no! Final process complete. Executing universal memory alteration. Reach back. Go, Argos. So wait, she's coming too? Or maybe she remembers, and that's why she's able to put in fail safes and such. And become Hydaelyn and whatnot. 